Hello everyone, welcome to Chess Visor, your wise choice to improve your chess. Today I am going to show you a game from uh, 44 Chess Olympiad, uh, round number 6. And in the round number 6, uh, Norway was paired against Australia. So we have the uh, game between Anton Smirnov and Magnus Carlsen. In this game, uh, Magnus was handling the black pieces, so I have flipped the board already. So let us start the game now. So before we begin this, if you are watching this channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the future videos. So here, uh, Spinov opens the game with 1 e4 and uh, here Magnus replies with a knight c6. The Nimzovich defense is one of my favorite defense of all time. So knight f3 developing move. In this position, I would like to throw some light on the basics of uh, Nimzovich. Uh, basically, black player expects uh, white to push the pawn to d4 and then uh, black could continue with the d5 or even e5 and then the theory goes on. So, maybe I will make a video on Nimzovich defense and uh, tricks, traps and other ideas later. So, here after knight f3, we cannot play that uh, uh, important variation or the variation which black player expecting. So, he goes knight f3. So, here... Uh, we can you know convert this game as uh, like a king's indian setup so he plays d6 this is called uh, uh, williams variation of the nimzovich so d6 so actually uh, white is declining the nimzovich that is why we are uh, transposing the game like this so here after d6 uh, white plays now d4 but we have knight f6 hitting the pawn knight c3 g6 we are trying to feature the bishop h3 by spare now we have bishop g7 bishop e3 developing castles on the king side it looks like magnus uh, uh, castle on the king side uh, much earlier while uh, uh, white is trying to form this queen uh, bishop battery i mean uh, bishop uh, queen battery and then maybe this bishop either uh, go to e3 or even sometimes c4 but uh, most importantly uh, is going to castle on the queen side and not only that he is going to uh, make this pawn uh, you know push and you know trying to attack the king side so that's look very dangerous so but uh, uh, Carlson doesn't care but he plays uh, castles so queen to d2 forming this battery a6 uh, trying to expand on the queen side bishop d3 e5 so putting a question mark to the uh, white center and now if you have or uh, uh, if you want to push the pawn that will definitely favor black because uh, black doesn't have to worry about uh, anything on the queen side as well as uh, in the center for some time so he did not play that variation rather he took the pawn and here also magnus uh, took back with the knight so now after knight takes e5 knight takes e5 we have d takes e5 and th this allows or this opens the d file completely now so that means both player can utilize the same file for the attack so here after this move, uh, Smirnov castles on the queen side and we have pawn to b5, uh, g4 uh, as I was mentioning he is starting the attack on the king side by pushing the pawns. So we have c6 so strengthening this uh, uh, queen side pawn structure and here we have uh, f3. So in this position instead of uh, uh, you know if you are thinking about directly pushing the pawn to b4 it's actually a mistake or blunder. Because our knight to a4, we are never going to push our c pawn and, and and also we are not going to get anything from the queen side. So uh, white will happily attack us on the king side and uh, it will be a problem for us. So here uh, he plays the move c6, consolidating everything on the queen side and we have pawn f3, bishop e6, developing move, pawn h4, queen a5. Uh, it looks uh, a white pawn structure or I mean uh, the pawn... Uh, the pawn which is coming forward it looks very dangerous but uh, Magnus says oh, I don't care let's see what you have got so he plays the move queen a5 and we have have a3 actually this move actually provokes uh, it's a provoking move uh, maybe maybe uh, uh, maybe it will create some problem later because as the pawn was sitting on a2 we don't have any problem but when it comes to a3 we have the problem now what's the problem we can simply push the b pawn and engage with this and we will try to open this two uh, one of these two files so that's the problem so here he plays the more rook f d8 and uh, as you can see all the three major pieces and one bishop uh, simply eyes the white king and while uh, he is also looking at our king but the problem is he is not uh, he is not that that fast so we have bishop c5 uh, he is trying to fork these two things but uh, uh, but he cannot even uh, touch this pawn that we will see now. 
so pawn h5 uh, now magnus asks do you want to capture or do you want to push the pawn in case if white pushes the pawn and black will not have any trouble in the king side and he will happily carry out the attack on the queen side so he plays the move bishop to d6 the forking idea and here magnus simply uh, put the rook on uh, b7 in this position if you are wondering about uh, you know taking the pawn here it's actually a blunder because we can simply push the pawn forward and we can unleash this discovery so no matter what you uh, uh, say one of your pieces is going to fall maybe if you move the knight your uh, bishop is hanging and if you save the bishop everything is collapsing on the king side as well as on the queen side so here he cannot uh, you know uh, react like this immediately or he cannot grab a pawn like this like a pawn grabber so he plays the move king b1 you know trying to uh, i don't know because it is coming into the pin uh, it's a, it's an x-ray now the, the rook is not open but still you know uh, it's not wise choice to put your uh, king in front of the or uh, in front of your opponent's rook right so but anyway he plays the move king b1 we have rook d8 hitting the bishop and now he plays the move bishop to b4 so here uh, magnus simply drops the uh, queen to c7 we can even play the move queen b6 followed by pawn to c5 traps the bishop so here uh, white has to immediately react for this so he plays the move knight e2 now we can't go this move because of this uh, battery so we will be losing the game now so he must play this move rook to d7 so now again uh, he is threatening to play the move uh, pawn to c5 but he simply blocks with the bishop after h takes g4 he uh, magnus carlson himself opens the uh, you know lines against his, his kim, king uh, h takes g4 knight g3 and the game would uh, complicate now so after uh, g takes f3 uh, now we have the move pawn h5 in this position now black has to be very very careful or magnus has to be very very careful because uh, if you simply capture like this then we have queen g5 and followed by uh, mating attack and that is unstoppable uh, so magnus simply uh, drops the queen to d8 and you know uh, trying to recover or trying to gain that square so so that he can simply capture the pawn whenever he wants so he plays the move h takes g6 now but now after f takes g6 we have the uh, f7 for our king uh, so he plays queen g5 anyway so king f7 and knight to f5 uh, knight to f5 is the first uh, uh, blunder of the game why it's a blunder because we can uh, simply even take the uh, piece here so you may you may be thinking about this uh, uh, opening of the file but the problem is even if you play rook dg1 we have king e8 uh, queen g6 check followed by rook f7 and black is uh, okay and uh, white cannot carry out any attack and he simply lost a piece here so magnus did not play that variation rather he played another variation that is knight takes e4 hitting the queen and asking for a trade here so he he goes knight h6 first and then bishop takes h6 queen h6 bishop f5 and the game is roughly equal here but uh, uh, there is a chance for uh, magnus because of his spaces activity so here uh, he goes king a2 and uh, magnus immediately senses that and plays queen to g8 so bishop takes e4 and bishop takes e4 we have rook d e1 attacking the bishop before we uh, save the bishop uh, magnus plays this discovery with the king move king f6 check discover check by the queen and after b3 uh, before we continue this game uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and one more thing i would like to highlight uh, the pawn which is sitting on uh, f3 is very very important for magnus and now he is counting on that only because of that because uh, it's just two squares are away from queening so white has to be very very careful so here he plays b3 and after this rook h7 uh, attacking the queen queen goes back to e3 and we have the trade on h1 and after this trade uh, magnus centralizes his queen queen d5 king b2 rook d7 and now the point is very very simple as we have uh, so many pawns you know three pawns extra we have to simplify the position and win the game so magnus plays uh, i mean um, smenov plays rook h8 we have bishop f5 and then rook f8 check comes rook f7 blocking the check and after rook e8 magnus plays queen e4 after queen d2 magnus plays king g7 and then after bishop f2 magnus plays queen e2 forking both the pieces and forcing the exchange and after this actually the game goes no further because uh, in this position uh, anton smirnov resigns the game 
uh, let's see why he resigns uh, because let's say you simply exchange the uh, exchange the uh, queens let's say this variation uh, rook takes e5 coming so bishop to g4 saving the pawn and uh, after bishop e1 rook f1 after bishop c3 after king h6 okay let me stop here you might be thinking about okay uh, okay the bishop is uh, trying to give the discovery let me put the king on h6 now so after this you might be thinking that uh, how magnus is going to promote the pawn the idea is very very simple we are going to simply uh, you know reroute our or uh, improve our king's position to maybe like uh, uh, this square with the help of the rook and once we go to f5 or even sometimes to f4 or uh, even sometimes to uh, you know just by improving the king's post and saving the pawn we can simply uh, blockade this rook's activity by putting the bishop in this diagonal and then we can simply promote the pawn and win the bishop and with the help of the rest of the pieces we can simply win the game and considering this imbalance ahead and here after queen e2 smirnov resigns the game so what do you think about this game let me know your ideas thoughts suggestions in the comment section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up uh, still, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel Chessvisor, please consider subscribing to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the future videos. As usual, this is Chessvisor, your wise choice to improve chess.